Remember the case of missing Balenciaga model? And hyper-realistic mannequin of him found at Balenciaga store in Paris? You won't believe what I found. Hi, my name is Tara and I am from Vibes. We have been covering the Balenciaga rabbit hole for over a year. And we discovered tones of unimaginable stories. If you want to join us on this journey, make sure to follow. Last year the theory unfolded that this Balenciaga model has gone missing and only has been found in Paris Balenciaga store in form of a mannequin. This realistic mannequin resembling identical image of him has scared the public because the model was nowhere to be found. It sparked most terrifying theories questioning everything including the origins of that mannequin. Model name is Christopher G or Chris Tyler. And he was also linked to disappearance of another Balenciaga model Isaiah Bass. Rumors say that Isaiah designed the jacket, which was allegedly used by Balenciaga. Since then, he was considered missing. Some people say Isaiah and Chris are the same person. To our knowledge, they are not. During our investigation in our last video, we have stopped at analysis of an artist John Raffman, aka Ron Jaffman, who is involved with Balenciaga, specifically the show which Chris was modeling. John Art is orientated around certain topic. I will post the raw video in our Patreon for you. Make sure to watch it to understand the whole image. I stumbled on the artwork they did for Travis Scott and found this. But this is not what I want to show you. The images we found are sickening. They were made in collaboration with Nikola's Bildstein Tsar, a filmmaker. But Nikola's doesn't always do music projects. He is indeed a long-term creator for the Balenciaga. And this is one of his latest projects. He worked for them for years, so I followed the trail looking for Chris. So, I found this on Nikola's page, dating back to 2019. The Mannequins. Is he involved? I only followed the trail from John Raffman, Travis Scott collab. And look where we ended. These mannequins lead me to the third person, Yuri. A model who still works for Balenciaga and is a member of the agency we already know. Tomorrow is another day agency. The one who had Christopher while he was working for Balenciaga at the time. What a coincidence. So from Yuri, I jumped back to the agency and searched them again. And I found something. This person. He is another Balenciaga model from the same agency. And just like Chris, he is no longer in their database. He is friends with the Chris and you know what else he does. Designing those. At this point, I am mind blown. Have I found so-called Isaiah and Chris living quiet private life away from Balenciaga drama? Because Chris seems to be found and well too. They don't seem to be professionally involved with Balenciaga. Anymore or any other big brands on the scale like before. Nor do they address the rumors, and I'm sure they are aware of it. But what happened to them? Why are they out of the industry? Why both of them are no longer in any agency? Also cryptic message on Chris' Instagram post from last year says, Looking through a lens might think my life perfect. And guess who first commented on that? But what is Chris trying to tell the world because this is deep? When someone views another person's life from an external perspective, they might perceive it as flawless or ideal. However, this perception might not accurately reflect the reality of that person's life, as there could be challenges or struggles not immediately apparent. The problem is that Balenciaga has so many skeletons in their closets that if we go over every single case or element of this network, we will spend long time uncovering these dark secrets. This is our job, 
to open public eyes. Do you want to see how that goes? Subscribe now and sure to visit Patreon and watch the uncensored version of this video. There is a link in description to take you there. Take care until next time.